Hello all. Um, in this project, it is considered the airline data set from QS, and the objective of the problem is to um, give the enhanced customer service and uh, the airport ma management uh, by analyzing the airport and the airplane data. Okay. Um, we know that we are going to use the DPLOR and the CA tools. Uh, there are two data files two for two years one is for 2019 and another one is for 2020 and the basics of those two files have been uh, considered like a and row head and all and uh, finally those two files has been combined into ds125 the structure of the file has been viewed and uh, finally uh, ds12 that file has been created by combining uh, and now after seeing that uh, one two uh, there are few columns uh, which we are not going to use in this analysis and hence uh, those columns have been removed from the data set so the new one the ds12 has been created the new one ds12 has been created okay um, now uh, the data cleaning uh, has been performed uh, by checking first the, is there any missing values um, and uh, the arrival delay if the flight is coming quicker they will mention that in minus so uh, those values has been uh, assigned zero and uh, similarly uh, the rest has been considered and the data final one has been created with the, the cleaned data sets okay now it is n row it has totally 10,000 rows um, you have taken a sample of 5,000 and 5,000 from the entire data to analyze. Okay, so first it is the delay carrier wise, the arrival delay carrier wise, and the respective average summation and the tests has been performed. And for, next it is delay carrier wise, and um, that too has been performed. And uh, <coughs> uh, next the distance. Uh, the distance has been uh, analyzed with uh, by taking the subset from uh, df1 for the distance for the distance it is mean standard deviation iqr quartile deviation everything has been calculated and with the box plots has been performed for uh, the arrival and uh, departure delays and even from the chart we could easily make out there are many outliers and the correlation test has been performed with the distance and the arrival time uh, which shows that there is uh, no correlation between almost uh, two to and uh, uh, the distance and departure time also uh, giving not much a significant correlation uh, almost it seems to be the independent but that is the distance and the flying time obviously the distance and the air time uh, gives the strong positive correlation 0.98 percentage uh, uh, strong correlation as expected and uh, the next uh, it is created the frequency distribution of the departure times um, and the bar charts has been created with the, uh, the bar chart labels the bar chart labels in order to find uh, in which quarter of the day the flights are uh, flying more um, and in this in this bar chart uh, one could see uh, after six o'clock in the morning uh, the flights are almost equally distributed in all the quarters okay and the next uh, we are going to uh, find a linear model for the distance um, with the time of flight uh, and hence uh, it has been performed with uh, the scatter diagram and the predicted line and the predicted line um, so this is the scatter diagram with uh, the smooth curve over here and the red color one is the predicted one and uh, the time of flight with the departure delay also has been performed in the uh, same manner uh, what we have seen earlier and this is the one uh, uh, for this is the one for that and uh, for the arrival delay also uh, 
the same has been performed and uh, this is the one for the arrival delay and uh, almost everything shows the uh, increase in the uh, trigger and the next uh, the complete case, uh, cases has been uh, found and the correlations uh, between them also calculated and uh, why could one could see the distance versus arrival and uh, departure delays and almost with the distance of uh, 800 almost from uh, 750 when we can say 750 to uh, 875 or uh, 900 uh, with that distance uh, it has much delay um, whereas uh, in the other parts it is less only and this is the uh, normal QQ plot for the scene and uh, this is the scale of location uh, which it gives almost the similar one to the earlier one um, and um, uh, the correlation between uh, the arrival delay and the departure delay is 97 0.97 that is 98 almost it's almost 98 so uh, uh, if a flight is arriving delay uh, so automatically that yields the uh, departure delay um, and the next it is to show the number of flights with the carrier carrier wise um, and these are the 17 carriers we do have and these are the numbers of flights it is given as a labels uh, over here um, um, the a a and the e9 has been taken as a counter example to find the z value um, and the plot has been done uh, with respect to the index and uh, aa delay and this is the predicted one uh, for the first part alone for the better visibility uh, with the index as well as with the arrival delay. Uh, the next one uh, it is to uh, print the message that if we have chosen a particular carrier this much delay will be there. That will be our message for example you have chosen yes as the average delay in this carrier is 471 474 minutes like that uh, that has been performed and uh, it has been chosen uh, with arrival delay not equal to zero that is wherever uh, it is not equal to zero and uh, the delay code has been given abc and uh, with respect to that and uh, with respect to that uh, a table has been created on what basis the flights are delayed and the tree diagram has been performed for that the decision tree diagram with the table and the predictions with the table and the predictions and this is the tree diagram uh, when we are taking four nodes five nodes seven nine ten twelve and thirteen nodes uh, it is uh, showing and with respect to with, with respect to uh, bar plots with respect to bar plots okay. uh, the next one uh, the clean the data set and everything uh, the output has been captured uh, into the separate uh, file uh, to a csv file as output and the summary of prediction has been captured into the output to two files so much for your patience and uh, uh, for listening to us. Uh, see you and bye bye.